up everyone, it's Kaze here, and uh, today I'm going to do a Midtown tutorial for you guys. I'm going to start off with all the bomb mission uh, maps first, and then I'm going to head on to the deathmatch maps later. But for today, I'm just going to do Midtown. Now, Midtown is a pretty simple map. Um, a lot of It's a really nice map in my opinion, um, but the most important thing here will land on the role of your sniper, who his job is to control and play at middle. Now once your sniper dies, you pretty much lose that round because his whole role is to uh, lock down mid and then, well I'll go over all the defense positions. Now a basic setup strat for this map would be to set two at A site, one at mid, which would be your scope, and then two at B site. Now one, your scope's job, I mean, you can play anywhere that's comfortable, here, 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 you know. I mean, you don't have to put your scope at mid, you can put a gunner here, or here, even here, and just um, guard it like that if you want, but um, it's really easy to put a scope here, and an ICOG, um, scopes are required, so it's it's the best bet to uh, put your scope where um, it is most useful. Now, your scope can also drop down here. Or scope right here if they rushed A site. And I forgot the fucking password, the room. But it's for going on for another five minutes, so I should be done with the tutorial by then. But, um, alright. Now, for B site defense, I'm gonna go over that real quick. When you first start off, there's going to be two people from the spawn going to be like this. Now, to avoid them rushing into site, because you have to think, um, a lot of teams will pick a site and just rush it randomly, and some teams, that's all they do, is they just rush, they don't slow play. So you have to be aware and be ready for that. So what you do, is right when you come up to site, you wall bang the wall. You can throw a nade, like right there, and wall bang it. Now, a good thing to have on... And um, this is pretty much going to help improve your aim. I forgot to mention this in another tutorial, but you want to turn on um, crosshair hit effect, which I can't find now because I'm retarded. But um, yeah, you want to turn on crosshair hit effect, which is right here. And what that does is if you shoot someone, which I can't find rep, so I can't really make an example, but your crosshair lights up red. So, if you fire at this wall and it turns red, call out a B rush. Say they're all rushing B. And that means what you want to do. Right when you fire here, throw your nade down like that. And then get into a position where you can um, be prepared to counter the rush. While being a little bit at head level, if you want to scare them off, um, probably get a few lucky headshots. You're going to have another teammate here guarding as well. So he can even do, uh, pull a move like this. Um, you can play like this, and if you're not confident enough for your team to guard in sight, and they rush a lot, you can uh, guard out of sight, like this, and just like kind of wait um, for them to rush in. Now let me go over A site real quick. Now A site defense is I, I don't know how to do it that well because I don't play it much, but you can play somewhere like in the back of site. Well, what am I talking about? I know how to play a site. You can basically like play back here if you want. Um, my favorite spot for a site when I guard it is on these stairs right here. Um, you can switch over to mid if, if mid needs help, and you can cover like that. And if you jump on this, you can shoot like this. And it's a very good uh, surprise that you can do for them. Um, I wouldn't really recommend standing behind this barrel because they can throw an 8 at it and blow it up. Now, another good spot, I'm going to switch over to offense now real quick, but um, as offense you're going to either be rushing A, B, or mid, or slow play, you know, just the basic strats. I'm not going over thing, anything too advanced today, but um, here's an excellent spot that I like playing at A site if it's on a slow play. I know that now that I give this away, I'm going to be easily picked in scrims against good teams, but this is the spot I play. Um, I use it in a lot of ICOG matches. It gets me kills. As soon as their head 
pops up to that um, tank right there, they're dead. And I can also just strafe out like this, cover that. You have to be careful for nades. Now, when you're rushing a site, what you want to do is you hug the left wall. You can, like a lot of people, they just throw random nades, like all in the front. I mean, one nade is good, but you don't want to throw like five nades in the same place and not have them do anything because it's pointless but I'll call out a stealth a rush and what we'll do is we'll just hug this left wall we can go in like that and then all five will already be in and there should be about one guy here we can take it lock down the site now let me tell you something about planning if you plant the bomb right here like this you can wall bang through this door and stall out so what you do is once you plant the bomb you go out here you go like this and you can stall the bomb out if you hear them you can stand right here too so if you hear them defusing the bomb what you do is you go in here pre-fire like that and you just go out here because one shot to the bomb diffuser that's all it takes to stop him from defusing and you can stall out a bomb like that now um, when they rush B site and your sniper on mid you can rotate over here like this and you have this awning right here to uh, guard um, B site with and there's also a barrel right here you want to use that to your advantage and then there's a few nade spots that I'll teach you real quick um, you can get up here but um, I don't really have a nade right now but you can just nade over here and make it land wherever you want Whatever you think you're comfortable with. And uh, I think you need a throw distance act to do this, but you can um, jump off of this and make a nade land in the enemy spawn over there. Really useful nade point, but it probably will only work with the uh, nade act. And you can also stand on this awning to guard mid and uh, a few other things. Now, since some people joined, um, I think I might start over this tutorial, or I'll just continue. Okay. Um, Go. God, it's 2v4. Alright, I'm gonna try that A rush for you guys. Now, see. If you rush into A like that and you go straight to mid, you can lock down mid for any rotation. Now, I'm going to show the A site stall the at its best. If I don't get killed, that, killed, that is. Now, what I want to do is just stand right here and wait. Now, I hear him in sight, so there's one guy right there. Double kill. Triple kill. Alright, see, it stalls him out. He's gonna chase me. He's defusing me. Bomb I failed right there. But, um, you have to plan it in a certain place. Um, yeah, obviously, this is a bad example. <laughs> but you get the idea. What you can do is spray the wall and, um, get it to where you can just stall out. Now, first thing you, when you want to do rush B is there's usually a guy on the first set of boxes, which is like right here, like this. Um, I was turning around, but um, and then there's usually a guy on the right side, and then there's sometimes a guy at the back of sight. Okay, so the way you want to get the back of sight out is if you um, nade it out pretty much. Oh, there's someone on the back of site now. Actually, I think he's an alley. So I'm gonna chuck a nade there. Not really want to peek the sniper, because he's at mid. Never put yourself at risk at a sniper. Now, this alleyway is a pretty good cover spot. Um, because you can stall out the bomb at B site right here. If you need to. Like, just like that, pretty much. 
Um, so if you see anybody come by, you can just kind of hide over here while you can safely watch the bomb. So, um, I think that's about it for Midtown. I um, can't really think of anything else, but for your defense, you want to have a solid uh, 1 at mid, and then 2A, 2B. And your sniper's job is to uh, try to get that pick at mid. If you can slow play and get the pick at mid, you can probably rush mid. Now, once you get the pick at mid... Failing. You can also do a stealth rush like this if there is no one at mid. And then you can just um, go straight into sight like this and plant the bomb. You can also back rage them. The For instance, if they're in B site, you'll have an easy flank on them. Now I heard one alley and then one mid. Now also, I like this spot a lot because you can either go like this or you can watch below you as well as in front of you so it's a pretty awesome spot it's one of my favorites Double kill. but um see i had really good cover of what was in front of me as well as a surprise for anyone who doesn't check uh, okay. above them no i'm gonna try a site one more time i guess but if you get the pick at mid, for instance. Obviously, no one, no one's covering mid this time, so... I'm just gonna waltz right in. But, um... Let me try this fucking plant thing again. My teammates like, would, like, line it up. I don't think this is a good spot. I don't think you can wall bank through that, but... You just want to test what you can wall bank through, and what's not, um, shootable. And then you want to plan it at the best uh, location Double possible kill. for that. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching uh, my Midtown tutorial. I'm sorry it was a little bit unorganized. Right, I kind of did it on the spot, but um, hopefully you guys learned something from it for Midtown. Um, you you can try different stuff out too, like uh, faking a site. For instance, I can go here, just throw a bunch of nades. They might call out a B site rush. Or if I say fake B rush A, um, they'll fake it out and then they'll rush A. Same thing for A. You can throw nades like that even and then just go straight into B and uh, they may not be covering it because they might have rotated. It just depends on the team. You have to do certain stuff to get the win. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Sorry for... Um, making this an extended tutorial, but uh, it should teach you everything you need to know for Midtown for the most part. So uh, thanks for watching, please subscribe. I forgot to add, this is a little random, but if there's there's someone at tank, um, let me kill that guy first, a good spot to wallbang is like right here, you just wallbang it and um, should get an easy headshot right there. And uh, I use that spot a lot, and I uh, get a lot of kills from that. Thank you.